G'day, welcome to Epic E-Bikes. Today we've got an Obey a Wild. We're going to show you how to install our chip to unlock this bike. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe so we can keep doing them. So first thing we'll do is take off the bash guard under here so we'll get closer and we'll show you how to do that. Alright, first step we're going to get this 3mm Allen key under. Okay, now there's two more Allen keys at the front. These ones are larger, they're four mil. Okay, finally there's one more Allen key here. Okay, right, now we should be able to remove the bash guard. Now I've got access to the motor plugs, we'll show you how to install the chip. Okay, now we can see the motor plugs. All we've got to do is move these wires out of the way from the battery plug and we're going to unplug the two pin plug. It's gently port. It's a grey plug with a red and a black wire. In some motors there's a blue and a black plug as well. But on this motor there's only the grey. So the grey is what you want every time. And then you need to pull out the four pin connector which is usually above. So there we go, they're both removed. Okay, now we've got our E plus chip that we're going to install. It's got these quick connectors on it already. So we'll get our four pin connector and we'll pop it in the quick connector. And then we've got yellow to yellow, green to green, black to black, red to red. We'll do the same with the grey connector, pop it in the quick connector. In this case we've got black to black and red to white. Then we plug the cables off the chip back into the motor. There's only one way these can go, so if it doesn't feel right, just flip it upside down and then try again. You'll get a nice click when they click in. Once that's done, we can do a quick little test to make sure everything's working all right with these diagnostic LEDs. Just hang this chip up so we can see it. Okay, now if we turn the bike on, both LEDs light up. So that's correct. Okay, once that's all done, you can tuck the cables away. The smaller cable will generally fit above the battery connector. You can get the fatter joiner underneath. And then you tuck the wires in. Just get that chip sitting nicely. Some way like that. You grab your bash guard. Got to figure out how to get that bash guard back on and cover your wires. Now we'll put the bolts we took out back in. We'll get our three mil Allen key at the back. Okay, we'll do our three mil Allen key by the chain ring. Okay, next we put the 4mm front Allen key bolts in. These can be a little bit tricky, there's a movable plate behind the bolts. So until you get it screwed in correctly, they won't grab. Now we're ready to test. Okay, simply turn on the bike. On the top of the remote here is the walk button, so we'll press that while looking at the display. Okay, we'll press the walk button. You can see in that top corner it said 2.2. If you watch that top corner, I'll press it again, now it says 1.1. So 1.1 is off and 2.2 means the chip's on and you can go faster than 25. If you have the advanced chip, we'll show you how to set up the app next. 
and also keep watching to see what's required in order to make sure you don't get those 504 errors. So it's important you watch to the end so that you can see that information, otherwise you will eventually get a 504 error if you don't allow the bike to perform the compensation that it performs at the end of the ride. Okay, we've just taken it for a quick ride to show you how the countdown works. So it takes about 30 to 60 seconds for the countdown to start. And then as you can see on the screen, the countdown will start. It will count down 0.9, 0.8. It can start from a higher number, flick us some random speeds, that's all normal. At the end, then you can turn off the bike and you won't get those Bosch 504 errors. It's important that you let the bike complete this countdown whenever you ride it. So the best way of moving forward once you've chipped your bike is just not to turn it off and let it turn itself off when it times out. This takes around 10 minutes if the bike's sitting idle. It doesn't matter if you interrupt that countdown, say you stop to have a drink or you at the traffic lights and it starts the countdown, you can just keep riding. It's only at the end of the ride it's important that you make sure you let it happen every time. Okay, if you have the advanced chip, you can activate it through the application once before using it continually as normal. So you download the E-Plus tuning application. Once it's installed, you open it. And you can see the main screen has racing, then there's a tuning screen, there's an account details screen, and then a scanning screen. You need to make sure your Bluetooth, location services, and Wi-Fi are all on. When you scan to find the chip, see here RN4678, this is our chip. Here we go, we're connected to the chip now. On the racing page, you can see our speed's 25. None of the features are activated. First time you activate this speed unlock feature, it's going to ask you to pay one euro. I've already done that, so for me it lets me do it. The max speed is 75. You can set it to 35, 50 or 75. Here is a code immobilizer function. This function allows you to lock the bike. So if you activate this, now the bike will offer no assistance until either someone takes it to a Bosch dealer to have it looked at or till you unlock it with the code immobilizer here. Okay, on the next screen, Here's the tuning, so here is the original settings. You can click that to load the original bike settings. So then there's the E plus mappings. So from Eco, Urban, Touring, Enduro, Trial and Race. Race is the fastest setting and then from there it goes back. Here you can have custom settings, your own maps. So you click on the map. And then you can adjust the level of assistance in each speed bracket up to 35 kilometers an hour. So if you want just absolute maximum power, have them all at the top. Let's say you don't need much power on the lower speed. You can turn them down, you'll conserve battery in that lower end. You can use that power when you're going faster. So you can set all sorts of custom maps. You just click them and they load. It's as simple as that. And they're the features of the advanced app.